Good morning, guys. guys. And good evening from wherever you are going to watch this video from. Um, this video is um, for Janice Dean. Um, as you guys, you know, are aware, I'm older than Janice Dean. And all the time I've communicated with Janice Dean, um, we have mutual understanding and we hold respect for each other. And um, from my own experience, my own personal experience with Janice Dean, she come across as a, a caring mother who genuinely care for her son, who went into a lot of panic uh, because of so many things that were happening. And um, it wasn't a very good, um, you know, experience. However, as somebody who is older than Janice Dean, yes, as I've told you guys before, I'm older than Justin's mother. Um, and I expect an elderly person to know when to leave battle for God, to know when to move on, to not to forget so easily even when the young ones are behaving somehow and they forgot what they've been through it is it is your responsibility as a mother who went through all those fears about what is going to happen to your son about what is going to happen to your grandchildren it is it is your responsibility janice dean to stop all this to stop justin from Forgetting so easily. For, for being brutally honest with himself. Before I expect you. You see all these people on social media. You and I know that up till today, they don't know the full story of what JD went through. And it explains why a lot of them, they are still labeling uh, some people who are telling the truth out there. Oh, you're a liar. And they are supporting people who, who you know are misleading your son to his own detriment. And you, Janice, to be honest with you, I'm very disappointed at you. The reason is that if you didn't witness what JD went through last year, I would say, oh, it's because JD hides all these facts from you. That is why you are supporting JD to self-destruct up to 2024. That, you know, I will be able to say to myself, okay, hold on, maybe it's because JD didn't tell his mom the facts of the work we were doing behind the scene in order not to allow those children to be taken to foster care last year. Now, J now Janice, another thing that I was disappointed is that you who know the charges, because JD informed you. Because we discussed. And anytime JD didn't listen to me, when he wants to go and self-incriminate himself, I always call you to help me talk to him. Remember, Janice? Your phone records are still there. Okay? We have to stop bullshitting now. And I was surprised that you will allow yourself to even go to a blogger. But you see, that is not even the reason why I'm doing this video. The reason why I'm doing this video is because I'm a very patient person. When people are labeling, they are spreading gossip and lies about me. Sometimes I have to wait and see, observe where all this is generating from. I think it is generating from the faux pas that your son is spreading with this woman in WhatsApp. Now, Janice, I'm going to remind you this truth, this fact now. And I want you to cross-check your records. Do you remember where we are on the 3rd of January, 2023? Let's assume JD has forgotten how he suffered. Do you, Janice Dean, remember where we were on the 3rd of January, 2023? On the 20th of January, 2023, where were we, Janice Dean? February, 2023, where were we, Janice Dean? April 20th, 2023, where were we? May 25th, 2023, where were we? June 8th, 
2023, where were we? June 15th, 2023, where were we? June 20, 2023, where were we? July 24th, where were we? Chinese Dean. July 31st, 2023, where were we? Huh? Think, where were we? Are we not going back and forth to court to face the CPS so that they don't remove your grandchildren from JD? Huh? Do you know how many thousands he paid he pay for his solicitor? You forgot. So what is going on in this 2024? Just as we were celebrating that they, he won that case that started from that third of January 2023 to June 2023. Finalized in July 31st. Remember, you phoned me to thank me. JD phoned me to thank me for creating that defense for him. He got his children. We're celebrating. They, are they, are, is it not true? But you see how those dates, I, I, you see, up to now, nobody is aware about these dates. But you and I and JD know what the tears, the tears, the fear that was going behind the scene. Because that is his reality. Now, just as we, we were celebrating that, yes, everything is now over. He's got his children. They are not going to foster care. In August 2023, what did JD receive on the 3rd of August 2023? Is it not a new charge? Eh? And I'm asking you, where was JD? Where were we? In August 17th. And what was the outcome of August 17, 2023 hearing? What was the outcome? What was the count? Is it not count B? And what was the charge on the third, third of August 2023? Eh? I'm asking you these critical questions and reminding you about these dates because you were there. You witnessed how JD forgot all these terrible dates that nearly took his children to foster care. And in 2024, you observed, you even partake in egging JD to continue fraternizing with one blogger after the other, you know, starting all this series, starting the trouble again in 2024, forgetting everything that has been happening from 3rd of January 2023. What a waste. It's about time, Janice Dean. You sit JD down. Because right now, as you are aware, like I've said again and again and again, the CPS are party to this case now because it involves child neglect, child abuse. Okay? And don't forget, those dates are mentioned, Janice Dean. Before you go back to Oregon, sit JD down because this case is going to drag on again and again because the CPS are party to this case now. Zoe have implicated JD and you know what JD has been going through since 3rd of January 2023. You see all those dates? Write it down, Janice. And remember all the tears and prayers behind the scene. All these people on social media, they were not there with us. None of them appear in those court dates, but I was there. You guys, you put me through so much emotion. But because I'm not a rubber mouth like all of you there, you think that it is okay for you to self-sabotage, self-destruct, and go back to square one. Eh? How many thousands of dollars did the solicitor that JD have in 2023? How, how many thousands of dollars did he collect from JD? Eh? How many times did that phone you, Janice Dean, to please help me beg JD to change that solicitor? Remember what happened? Didn't you even volunteer to use your credit card to pay for a new solicitor? But you refused because you know your son is stubborn. This is your opportunity now to remember all those dates, Janice Dean. To remember all those dates. Because right now, this case is going to drag on again. Is it healthy? You know what goes on behind the scene. You know the truth. Sit JD down. Sit him down. It's your son. Be honest with him. Tell him to stop fraternizing with all these bloggers that are going to put him in more trouble. Tell him to go for peace.
KO is not his enemy. You and I know that. You and I know that. And we have the evidence for that. And it is those children. It is those children. When KO is changing for better, what is JD waiting for? It's only a blind person that will say that is the same KO we were seeing in, in 2022. So what is your son doing? He's supposed to grow up as well. And use Facebook to promote his business. Use Facebook for positivity, not saga. Not bringing useless uh, series to come on social media in 2024. Where's, where's, where are all the money that he made with that saga? With that series? Where are all the money? It's gone. Because all, all of it, plus all the money he got from the, all these people that he got coffee money from for donation, is going to go for solicitors. Does that make sense, Janice Dean? I reminded you about these dates because you and I know how many times we cry together, we pray together, so that those children don't end up in foster care. You see how long it takes me to release these dates for you and for all the fools out there who doesn't have a clue what it takes to develop a case for somebody and for all this don't, don't forget i haven't even so i haven't even shared any of those dcfs documents of all those social work reports i haven't you watch as people spread lies against me did you even come out and say no 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 what you are spreading about that woman is not true no you didn't but me today i am Reminding you about these dates. So that before you go back to Oregon, you can sit your son down and say, enough is enough. Enough is enough. Those strangers on social media is gaslighting. They are not going to be there in court with him. They were never there before and they are not going to be there. It is him, his own reality that is going to be in that court. As it happened yesterday, he wasn't prepared. His solicitor wasn't prepared. So you have to ask for his continuance. His solicitor have to ask for an adjournment. You know why? Because your son is busy gossiping in WhatsApp, gossiping with all these strange people, instead of him to go and look for solicitor on time. By the time he got to the solicitor, the solicitor doesn't have time to, to peruse all this, all this nonsense that he has already submitted in court. Self-incriminating himself. Remember these dates, Janice, because... Something tells me it's never too late. Even though the CPS have taken over the jurisdiction of your case. All the, the government wants is to see evidence that parents are co-parents in peace. But you see this latest one? Don't let anybody fool you. Your son started it. But it's not too late, Janice, to sit him down and be truth. Put some truth and common sense in Common sense in him. Enough is enough.